Welcome to our new series of Faith Talk with Father A. I'm Mara. And I'm Emily. And I'm Father Ashmore. This question for you, Father Ashmore, is what do you think the main reason is that people lose their faith when they go to college? You know, I think there are really two main reasons people lose their faith in college. The first one is just college is an exciting time. There's lots to do. There's lots to see. There are the ac new academics, uh, the new activities people are involved in. There's the parties, you know, there's all sorts of things in college that are really exciting. And people get distracted. Often that's the main problem in the spiritual life, that we have our focus, we know what it's supposed to be, but other things just distract us. So I think that's the first thing, reason people lose their faith. It's because they just get distracted. The second reason is because they this is the first environment in which they have been where the faith is attacked, both on an intellectual and a social level. It's scary the first time that occurs. Not only is it scary, it can be overwhelming. And so I think it's really important that people come to college with the expectation that they're going to learn a great deal, but they're also going to encounter other viewpoints. So they have to be very firm in their own understanding of the faith. Because as I've said many times, and as I hope you all know, the Catholic faith is the most intellectually satisfying system of thought in the world. But if we just allow people to tear it down and we don't do the, fa do the work to understand it, then it's going to be really hard to see that in the face of the, uh, the culture that we encounter in colleges. And off of that, what is your number one piece of advice on making your faith life your own? Well, it really comes down to the basics. <laughs> I'd like to give some great, great pieces of advice here, but it, the basics are you've got to pray every day. Pray the rosary. Honestly. When I say that I'm not just being cute, I'm not just saying what priests say, I'm saying pray the rosary. If you pray the rosary every day, your faith life will grow in college. It is the best way to learn how to pray. It's got vocal prayer, it's got meditation. It's just 12 to 15 minutes, especially if you're clicking through those Hail Marys. Just pray your the rosary. Um, also, don't ever miss Sunday Mass. Make a promise to yourself that you are not going to be a person who misses Sunday Mass. Lots of college campuses even have Sunday Mass in the evening on Sunday. There's one uh, campus that I know of that has Mass at 9 o'clock. It is the last chance Mass. If you can't get to that Mass, you ain't got an excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, our next question is, is it nice to have like a roommate or friend to keep you accountable to go to Mass and to keep your faith life strong? Absolutely. Accountability is super important because here's the thing. We can have great visions of what we're going to do. You know, I'm going to go to join the Newman Center. I'm going to go do this activity. I'm going to go and show everyone my faith. But if I don't have somebody there who's calling me out when I'm not living up to that standard, then I'm not going to really be able to stay honest with the vision of who I want to be. And so having somebody that you can say, hey, we both went to Aquinas, or maybe we have grown up as kids, or maybe we're just meeting for the first time. We're both Catholic. Let's keep each other accountable. Invite me to Mass. Make sure that I'm going. Make sure I'm going to confession. Go to confession. Go to confession. I'm going to say it again. Go to confession. And if you have somebody there to keep you accountable to that, it will make your life so much easier. Also, choose your, uh, your roommate well if you can. You know, Obviously, there are many, many good people out there, but you want to choose a roommate who's not going to lead you into things that you're not proud of. Mm -hmm. And do you think it's like valuable to be a part of like the youth faith group and like the churches in that area? Or should we just try and grow it ourselves? Oh, you have to have a community. <laughs> the church is a community. And so I would really encourage people to join their Newman Center at whatever college <laughs> they're at. A Newman Center is not just like youth group 2.0. If you found youth group kind of corny in high school, don't worry, I did too. But the Newman Center is not just that. You'll find people there who have similar interests, who are able to have really great intellectual discussions. It is the training ground for having a faith life uh, in the rest of the, uh, your existence. And so if you found youth group to be a little bit not your style, please give the Newman Center a try and commit. You know, don't just give it one time and be like, oh, these people are weird. No, commit to it and give it a chance because you'll find that the Newman Center is way better than what uh, you would expect it to be. Thank you, Father. We really appreciate your time with us. Thank you so much. It's always good to talk to you, too. <laughs>